Hey guys, it's Andrea here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, aka my instant at home. Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a QA chit chat. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post because I am on my way to 3K and I want you guys with me every step of the way. Now that that's all done, let's get right into the video. Okay, y'all, so like I said, we're going to be doing a Q&A video. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you don't follow me on Instagram. So I'm just gonna put it right up on the screen for you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So I'm just gonna be answering some of the questions you guys sent me. So let me just pull them up. First one is going to be, what is your favorite thing to do that no one knows? Ooh, I kind of don't want to tell you guys because no one knows. Um, screw it, right? So, my favorite thing to do that nobody knows is that I like to read fan fiction. Like, not like, oh, I like to read fiction books. Like, no, I like to read fan fictions. I like to read other people's versions of things that are already written, specifically like cartoons, specifically like my favorite childhood cartoons. Um, so like one of my favorite ones, like one of my favorite like fanfic worlds is like the Powerpuff Girls and I love when they, you know, age them up into like high school or like college students and they still gotta like deal with being superhuman and more than human and yada yada yada, you know? Like still having to deal with like being a superhero and making sure that you get into college, you know? Like shit like that. Like there's like a couple other ones that I like to read but I'm not gonna mention them but that's definitely something that I like to do that like very, very few people know that I like to do. Like I like to read fan fiction. Goals for 2022. What are my goals for 2022? Um, this one's a little hard for me because I didn't necessarily like, I'm not gonna say I didn't make goals, but like my goals are always kind of the same each year and it's just to be like a better version of myself. Like like Issa Rae's Instagram post or whatever, or her Twitter post. I want to be the more successful version of myself. That's exactly what my goals are for 2022. I just want to better like myself in every aspect, you know, emotionally, financially, spiritually, mentally. Like I just want to level up for 2022. Uh, one of my favorite memories from 2021. Hmm, 2021 was a very interesting year for me because I, I spent half of 2021 inside the house and the other half outside, as you guys can see by my vlogs. And definitely like all the traveling I've did, like I probably did the most traveling I've ever done in my life in 2021. Um, you know, like I went to Hawaii, I went to Turks and Caicos, I went to uh, St. Martin, like I've never traveled that much in like a year, like not, yeah, that's probably like in a six month time frame. I've never traveled that much. So that's a great memory. Um, I've also did like, I also had different experiences. Like I've experienced things for like the first time. Like I rode on a helicopter. I went horseback riding, actually drove a car. I have no license, but I actually drove a car in 2021. I ain't drive that far now, but you know. Next thing is, this one's kind of like the first one I did. What is your favorite thing to do? So right now, my favorite thing really to do is to watch serial killer documentaries on Hulu and or Netflix, um, or like murder mystery documentaries. Like I love watching uh, ABC's 2020. I love anything on like the ID channel. Right now I'm watching Unusual Suspects on Hulu. Like I watched The Night Walker. I watched The Cecil Hotel. Um, I watched the smiley face killer. Well, that was an episode on 2020. Um, I watched the raincoat killer, uh, the smiley face killer, Ted Bundy's story, the Zodiac killer, Jeffrey Dahmer's story. There was one about like a, it was the black serial killer. I forgot what his name was, but I watched his two women who kill. I just really like murder mystery documentaries. That's just my jam. That's one of my favorite things to do. And eat and drink and like dress up. So anytime I can eat, drink and dress up, like invite me to brunch. That's a great way to get me outside. I can be cute, I can eat something, and I can have a mimosa. I would probably come outside and I will run outside gladly. I love brunch, like that's, that's my toxic trait. When it's nice outside, I think I need a frozen margarita or something. Um, what is my biggest lesson to learn in life? Ooh, the biggest lesson I've learned in life, honestly, is 
Hard work beats talent if talent does not work hard. Guys, like back, like way, way, way back when, um, I'm not gonna say I used to be really talented, I still feel like I am very talented, but I didn't really work hard for whatever it was, whether it like be dancing or like cheerleading or, I didn't really work hard. I just, you know, relied on my talent, which did get me far in like what it was that I wanted to do, but it could have gotten me even farther. And then I noticed people who did work harder than I did got farther than I did in life or like whatever it was that I was focusing on or using my talents for. Um, I realized that they, you know, worked harder than me and it, 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 they beat me. Not like it was a competition or anything like that. I mean, sometimes things are competitions, but um, like they basically beat me because they worked harder than my talent. So now I realize, being the talented person that I am, that if I put my talent, hard work, and consistency all together, nobody's touching me in any game. Like, that's, that's really how I feel, and I can say that confidently. Talent, hard work, consistency, and prayer, nobody can really touch me in shit. So, <laughs> um, how are you so consistent? So I still struggle with being consistent in a lot of things, whether it be YouTube, whether it be working out, eating healthy, not drinking. There's a lot of things I could be a lot more consistent in that I'm not, but I'm taking it day by day. Um, the best thing I could really say about how I stay so consistent is like, well, wait, what do you mean? Like, do you mean like actually like how do I stay so consistent? Like me posting YouTube videos like I've been doing all month? Or do you mean like just in general, like how do you stay consistent? I guess I'll just answer both. Uh, for YouTube specifically, it's like I plan out my content for the month, I break them up into like three portions. So the top ones, like my top priorities are like brand collaborations, paid promotions, brands, partnerships, anything like that. That is like my top priority. I need to get those videos out because like I have signed a contract for it. They've paid me for it. I have products sitting at my house. Like that's like top priority. Mid priority would be anything that is like coming up for the season. So it's not necessarily things that I have to post, but it's things that make sense for me to post at this time. The bottom, like I'm not gonna say last priority, but like the bottom of the section would be like things that I just wanna post just cause I want to. Kinda like this Q and A video. I film two to three videos each time I sit down and I film, like I'll do a hair video. If I do a makeup video, I'll do those two kind of together. And then I'll do like a sit down talking video like I'm doing right now. Or if I know I have like three sit down talking videos to do I'll film all three of those at on the same day and then I can just edit my videos throughout the week so since I do work a full-time corporate job so I will just like edit my videos on the weeknights when I get home like that was really long <laughs> that was really long but for like how do I stay consistent in general it's really just like having discipline and it's not I watched this video and it's not even about having discipline it's practicing discipline if I said I want to do this I have to get up and do it because nobody else is gonna do it for me so if I want to post three videos each week on my YouTube channel I have to make sure that I film at least three videos each week oh another thing is like I I'm only focusing on like one thing at a time I find it for me if I focus on too many things at a time I don't end up doing any of the things that I want to do. So for this month, like for the next couple months, I'm going to be like zoning in on YouTube and making sure that I'm consistent on my YouTube channel. So what are my goals for the new year? I kind of touched on that already. It's just more like personal goals for me. Like I want to be more consistent. I want to have better discipline. I want to have better money management. I want to have better time management. Um, I also want to have better relations, like relationships with like the people around me, whether it be like friends and family. And it's all things that I have to work on because you know, because I'm a naturally distant person. I'm not a very open person off rip. Um, I don't know. And sometimes I feel like people take that as me being cold and me being stuck up. And it's not that, it's just, I don't know. I just spend a lot of time to myself. So that's kind of what I'm used to. That's what I'm comfortable with. But I'm trying to, you know, be a better friend, be a better daughter, be a better cousin, be a better girlfriend, be a better person in general. Um, so, you know, working on things like that, working on my patience, 
working on how I respond to things, how I react to things. This is Andrea 2.0, but I wanna be at Andrea 5.0. So, you know, we got some work to do. So, um, some of my favorite small YouTubers. So, hmm, there's so many YouTubers out here that people just don't know about. If you guys want a full, like, small YouTubers you should watch, let me know down in the comments and I'm gonna come out with that video for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I guess small YouTubers, I'll do anybody under 10K. Um, so the first person that pops up right here, Courtney Janine. I love Courtney Janine. Like I found her um, maybe a couple months ago and she was at like three, maybe 4,000 subscribers. And right now she's like at eight, I think, let me see. She's at 7.7K. I love her videos. I love the way she edits. I love her wig reviews. She is really, really consistent. Like, and she's consistent on like across all platforms. I hope to be like her when I grow up, okay? She is consistent on like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. Like she is doing a damn thing and she's growing really fast. Another small YouTuber that I love is Deanna Monet. So I've met Deanna like via YouTube or Instagram, whatever it is, maybe last year. Yeah, during the pandemic, like maybe like two years ago, cause this is 2022. So I'm probably met Deanna in like 2020 or like really early 2021. I, she's just a sweetheart. She is just so, she's so nice. And I love watching her videos. I love her hair videos. I love her reviews. I love her on Instagram. I love her on Instagram. If you guys message her on Instagram, she always writes back. Like I ask her YouTube questions and she always answers my YouTube questions. Like she's just so, I just love her. Oh, another person I wanted to mention, but she's over 10K, like she just hit 10K. A couple, ooh, she's at 12K now, but I still feel like she gets honorable mention. Kenstetic, she is extremely consistent on her channel. And like her channel varies from like hair videos to like fashion trends, to like her skin journey, to like everything. She is really consistent and she be giving me, she gives really good insight on like how she does everything whether it's like her camera equipment, her lighting, her mic, like she does not hold anything back. She's not keeping secrets from anybody. If you ask her what camera she's using, she got a link for you. If you ask her where she gets her lights from, she'll tell you, you know? If you ask her where she get her coat from, she'll tell you. You ask her who does her eyelashes, she'll tell you. Like she's she's not keeping secrets from anybody and I absolutely love her. The person, how could I forget my Stush King? I love Jade. I love Jadey Wadey. And I actually met her like last, was it last year? Maybe last year, maybe it was 2020. I don't necessarily, I think I met her 20, like late 2020, early 2021. Um, she's just a sweetheart, part of the travel gang. She is outside, okay? Maybe not right now in the cold, but you know, when it warms up, we gonna be outside again. And she just updated her posting schedule. She's going to be posting three times a week. So make sure you check her out as well. Like there's so many small YouTube. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? Everybody in my small YouTuber group chat. I love watching all these ladies. Like we post kind of like the same content, but it's completely different if that makes sense. So like um, Kira D, Jalen, Leslie, all of you girls. I love you, Trace, Darty. I'm just gonna leave everybody's YouTube information down below in the comments. So if you guys are looking for other YouTubers to watch, check my comments, not my comments, check my description box down below because I will go on and on and on. Okay, so this one is, do you wanna do YouTube forever? What's some other goals? Hmm, so the way I feel about this is, obviously I wanna make YouTube a career. Do I wanna do, do I wanna do YouTube forever? If I could, yes. Do I think you can? No. Um, I started this channel when I was maybe, when I was like 22, 23. I don't think when I'm like 50 that I'll still be posting YouTube videos, if that makes sense. But I want to hopefully be able to use YouTube as this platform to launch me into other things that I could possibly do forever. Whether it be like I start my own brands, like a clothing brand, a hair brand, a book, bed sheets, I don't know where it's gonna take me, but I hope to be able to leverage my YouTube channel into launching me into something else. What's your dream place to live? Mm, that's an interesting one. So, I live in New York right now, and I love New York with all my heart, but I don't think I would live here forever, which is really sad because 
New York is a vibe. New, New York is the vibes. So there's no other place in the world like New York and nothing could even compare, but I don't see myself raising a family in New York. If I do, it's like upstate New York and that's not really New York. That's New York, that's like downtown Canada. Like, I don't know, that, it's just, that's just not. But um, I definitely still wanna live somewhere close to a city and somewhere that is diverse because you know, I'm black. So obviously I want to live in a neighborhood where I'm comfortable, like I want to live in a state where I'm comfortable. I also want to live in the state that, you know, keeps their hands off of women's bodies. I don't like, that's a whole other topic. But um, I'm thinking maybe I might like Texas, I might like Florida, maybe different parts of California, not necessarily LA, maybe San Francisco. Um, just somewhere warm. Maybe Atlanta, but I'm um, not really sure yet. I've never really been to Atlanta, so I don't know, but those are my those are my options. As I get older to like, you know, wanted to put down some roots somewhere, we'll see how I really feel. What has been your fave purchase influenced by YouTube so far? That's a really good question because I buy a lot of shit because of YouTube. So I think my favorite purchase so far would my camera be one that's like influenced by YouTube because I wanted to be a YouTuber so I bought like a $600 camera? Is that a good one? Because that's exactly what happened. I bought my first camera, my Sony A6100 for I think it was like $600 on Amazon because I wanted to start doing YouTube. And yeah, I think that one might have to be my favorite. Besides that, it's probably my Vanilla Woods perfume that I got because of Kyra I'm Unique. Any perfume Kyra suggests, I will probably buy. Next question is, what made you start doing YouTube? Um, honestly, I was watching, I was watching the girls do YouTube. <laughs> That's really what happened. I was watching other girls do YouTube. It seemed like it was fun and it seemed like something I could do. And what really pushed me was like seeing girls who looked like me do it. Because on YouTube before, I wasn't really seeing girls who looked like me. And girls who like shared the same interest as me who looked like me. When I found girls who looked like me, I was like, oh, there's a community of girls that like the things that I like that look like me and I could connect with them and I could help somebody out because those girls helped me out when I was struggling back in freshman year of college. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know how to do makeup. I didn't know how to do my hair. I didn't know how to do my eyebrows. I didn't know how to put lashes on. Like. A lot of the things I know how to do now is because I watch from somebody on YouTube. Those girls helped me out and they're still helping me out and I want to be able to help another girl who looks like me. I want other girls to see like you can do it. Just to, just I just want to help somebody the way those girls helped me. So any chance I get to help somebody, I'm going to take it. <laughs> Advice on how to grow subscribers. So. So I'm still working on growing my subscriber count, but what I will say from my personal experience, I've grown the most when I have posted consistently, posted trendy topics, and have interacted with other YouTubers around my like niche and subscriber count. That's when I realized I grew the most and I grew the fastest. So posting consistently. There has been so many times that I have found somebody on YouTube that I love their video, and then I go to subscribe to their channel and I realize that they haven't posted a new video in like seven months. I don't subscribe to them because I think they're done with YouTube. So the more often that you post your videos, people are gonna be like, oh yeah, she's always posting, she's active. She's not just gonna like, you know, I can subscribe to her because she's gonna keep giving me content. That's how I feel. And then also the more things you post, the more likely you are to have something go viral. You'll have something hit and go viral. Hey guys, and that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave me a big old thumbs up to let YouTube know that you like this video and to let me know that you like this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comments below because I really enjoyed filming this video. If you didn't get to at the beginning of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post because I am on my way to 3K and I want you guys with me every step of the way. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye. Alright, they're asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison here. I'm a sick.